Do you think you've learned your lesson yet, Keeper? Ow, my head. Don't even remember getting back home. Nobody better raise their voices to me today. Huh? Oh no, she didn't. Rana para borar, na balale, na aitan, su di amamente mamani, mia kasana. Mandi dare te tu chige so di antam panin bo putovam e kanana babagi chokota fly a starship <laughs> you can barely dress yourself how did you reach the control panel by sitting on a box e kaviat paki ke te chusa sala this is cipher 9 to watch it too please respond contact authorization denied this is Imperial Automated Defense Corps Unit CR-97. By order of Darth Jared, Lord of the Dark Council, your ship is now in lockdown. Cypher 9. The last time we spoke, I called you to Korriban. Did you misunderstand what a privilege that audience was? If I recall, you tried to have me murdered as some sort of test. Many would beg for the opportunity to serve one of the Dark Council. You've not impressed me, Cypher. You've given me no new information since your mission began, about the murder of Darth Jadis or otherwise. When you receive my orders, you'll do as you're told, or I'll have you flayed alive, along with everyone you know. Understood? My orders come from Keeper, not the Sith. Perhaps I should kill you for your impudence. But you are useful, so... Perhaps I'll kill Keeper. My peers on the Dark Council acknowledge me, but they don't yet respect me, not like they did my father. To secure my position, I must have my father's secrets. The mysteries Darth Jadis never deigned to teach me. You think Jadis' secrets will win the Council members' respect? Once I possess the tools my father used, the Dark Council will have no choice but to admire me. I was his only apprentice, but he favored force-blind advisors over his own daughter. Of course, most of his advisors died with him on the Dominator, but not all. Fjord Yanol stayed behind. Fjord Yanol fled to Narshida. And this advisor can tell you what Jadis knew? I know he can. Why else would he flee unless he feared sharing? And again, maybe Yanol conspired with Jadis' rivals. Maybe he was involved in my father's death. The end result is the same. My sources have found his hideout. You will catch him and bring him to me. Until then, we are finished. Hi guys! Welcome back to Star Wars The Old Republic. Yeah! <laughs> I guess we've got ourselves a little souvenir from uh, a night on the town. <laughs> so, Jorid. Don't you just love her? Let's be done with her, okay? At least. Until next time she comes knocking. Oh. No. Are you kidding? <laughs> we have to go back to Narshada again? Well. FML, right? <laughs> Fine, let's do that then. Greetings, Master. You're looking fit and deadly, as always. Gee, thanks. I don't feel deadly. And yeah, we just leveled again, so I don't think there's double XP anymore? No. But 
I'm rested, so we're still getting... Is it double XP while I'm rested? Wow, well, yeah. I'm, not, I'm wondering... Hello. <laughs> so we got... We got... We got double XP uh, naturally, and then we got double XP from the XP boost everyone got. No wonder we were leveling fast. So, let's go to the upper atrium, or was it the upper level atrium? I, I don't remember. It doesn't matter. Have we been to the atrium? Let's find out. Vehicle pads are currently open for business. Oh, it's in the Dura sector. Have a safe and Let's day. hope this is the last time we're going to Nashada in a while, at least. I, I, I enjoy the view, but... You know, it's old hat. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, Nashada. We are back again. I guess the problem with this is that no one is ever getting a chance to miss me before we're back, right? It's like breaking up with someone and then going back to them because you're not really done with them. Leaving them not confused but annoyed that you're not really breaking up, right? <laughs> yeah, you don't want the uh, responsibility that comes with a relationship. You just want to come back whenever. Oh, we haven't been here. So... I'm guessing there's no friendlies here. Wow, look at my connection. It's so bad. And someone didn't like us. <laughs> so what else is new? Yeah, map. Map, Jaina. Maps are good. Maps are good. And... Well, at least we got to explore, hang on, <laughs> this area. I didn't even buff buff up. Nope. Wow, well, this uh, this uh, rifle is really gonna hurt me while running, I think. But you know, I look deadly according to my droid. All right, it's not a big hideout, is it? But no one's happy we're here. <laughs> what a surprise. What a surprise. Actually, I think you can... I don't think you need to heal me, but... You can change it while in a fight, so... Uh, let's see how good you are at killing. I mean, I mean defending me, of course. That's what I mean. Yeah, so why didn't I pick her as a tank? <laughs> Good question. Oh wow, she's got wings all of a sudden? Huh. There we go. I feel like this rifle is shooting the same kind of um, bullets as the other one. It's probably not bullets though, is it? So... Good night! 
Um, her name is Treek, by the way. I don't think I introduced her. Get away! I've done nothing to you. I've touched nothing on this dust ball. No talk to no one. You've touched nothing on this dust ball. That's impressive. Are you Viordiano? You know who I am. You wouldn't be here otherwise. The Dark Council hired you, didn't it? Or the Galactic Republic, the Macrosa Order, the Huts. Uh, it you doesn't get matter. A lot of enemies. My don't master you? is dead. Darth Jadis is gone. I have no one left to betray. I'm not asking you to betray anyone. Darth Jorid sent me. Jorid? Ah, the idiot girl thinks she can equal her father, eh? Yeah. You really don't understand. Lord Jadis must have made preparations for his death. He was power and fire and brilliance. Huh. The instant the master died, I promise his contingency plans went into action. They'll bring doom to everything Lord Jadis ever touched. And I want no part of it. Wait, so you're refusing his dying wish? Is that what you're saying? What kind of contingency plans? I don't know what he arranged. But Jadis would never let his death go unpunished. I won't be caught in the Master's schemes ever again. Wait. Oh, no. Wow. We won't. <sighs> the Master will destroy everything. Even from death. Mm-hmm. Don't worry. I'll wake you when we get to Drummond Cars. Oh, no. No, 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 no. We're not helping that girl on Corriban. <sighs> so we're picking him up, dragging him all the way to Corriban. Now I regret not just killing him, damn it. Schematics, huh? Or research. Hmm. Um. How do I even know which one is worth my time, huh? Um. Schematics for what? Well, actually, yes, maybe. Maybe. Let's, let's do that one. Oh, blueprints for an Imperial starship? Ah, oh, okay. 10,000 crew, 1,500 passengers. Wait a second. Wait, wait, wait. What did it say? Can I find what it said? Well, yes I can, but I'll have to go back and look at my recording. This is Keeper to Cypher 9. I understand you're running an errand for Darth Jorid. It may not be my place to know a Dark Council member's business, so I won't ask what she wants. I only want to advise you to take care. Are you okay, Keeper? That's unusually thoughtful of you, Keeper. These are unusual circumstances. Would that they were different. Jorid has relocated to Darth Jadis' old chambers on Drummond Cass. She awaits you there. Keep her out. Drummond Cass. It's been a while. Yeah, let's see if the sun's up, huh? I don't, I'm not even sure I remember where Dot Changes used to be. So, um, yeah. Wait, look, I, I, I can't, I can't not show you this. Um, is it just me or do those shoulders look extremely ridiculous? You know what it reminds me of? 
what's his face? The master of Sora. My my uh, warrior. Better not tell him. I think I better not tell him. <laughs> Do you think you've learned your lesson yet, Keeper? <laughs> yes, my lord. I don't like that name. You certainly haven't done a very good job of keeping your agent. Speaking of which, Siphon Nine, your superior, and I were just chatting. What's this about? What did he do to deserve this? It's not what he did. It's what you did. You see, in our last conversation, you said something that irked me. I don't remember what. I thought about having you kill, but then I thought, who's really responsible here? And I decided to punish Keeper. Yeah, you would have done that no matter what I'd said. I'm pretty sure. Sith filth. What do you plan to do to him? I don't know. I'm starting to get bored. Keeper, you can go. The Cypher and I have business. I appreciate that, my lord. As for you, Cypher, good to see you alive. It's getting dangerous. Dangerous and unpredictable. Exactly. Be careful. So, Fjord Yanel, is that him? Or is this another body for my collection? No. I drag the bodies along for my own pleasure. Why hire a bounty hunter when you've got me? You don't ever have to worry about that. Mm. Yeah, Yanel worried. and I are going to spend some time together. He's going to reveal every secret my father ever had. Expect a token of my appreciation. And expect to be called on again, my cipher. It'll give me something to look forward to. Think of it. Dream of me and of your service to me. Sure thing. I'll dream of you. Wow. <laughs> You're trying my patience. What? By breathing? I guess. I guess. <laughs> Or maybe my boots are too loud? Could be. Could be. Who knows? Maybe my hairdo annoys her? My name? So, I can't even go check in on Keeper. He was going back on his own two feet, so... Transmitting security codes, this is Watcher 2 to Cypher 9. I'm glad you're back on duty. After you dismantle the cells on Balmora and Narshadar, the rest of the Terra network went into overdrive. You're keeping up, though, right? I told you before about the Eagle's mystery weapon, the Eradicator devices. We still don't know what they are, but we intercepted this transmission. Once the devices are fully functional, I'll enter the targeting codes myself. Only then will instructions be sent. But all cells are encouraged to prepare attacks on secondary targets. Once the Eradicators cause chaos in every Imperial stronghold, you must fan the flames. Stand tall above the wreckage. Shape the destruction into a message. That is how we prevail. That was the Eagle himself. It seems the assassination of Darth Jadis was only the start. You didn't have to tell me that. Listen to his voice. He has no idea what we can do to him. You may be right, but that's no guarantee of success. There is good news. We have leads on two new terror cells, vital to the network's operation. They're your next targets. Proceed to Tatooine and Alderaan at your discretion. Your mission will continue there. Watcher 2 out. I... I'm homesick, okay? Let's take this opportunity to go home and... enjoy ourselves. Under blue sky and fresh air. Stand by. I'm routing comm traffic through our mid-rim outposts. You're on a six-second delay until I resynchronize the data stream. Three, two, one. Synced and secured. Tracking systems show you're in the castle lands of Alderaan. Enjoy the view, Cypher. I hear the mountains are lovely. I know they are. Imperial intelligence believes that one of the noble houses, or a noble within one of the houses, is financing the Eagle's terror network. What sort of financing are we talking about? Money for weapons, transportation, bribes, anything the cells need. The Empire's resources are tied up supporting House Thul's efforts to claim the throne. 
but intelligence does have one asset. Vector Hillis. Vector was an Imperial ambassador to the nobles, but he was later... repurposed. Now he's with the Killix. You think this Vector knows something useful? He's an expert on the political situation, but I should explain. When Vector approached the Killix on a mission of diplomacy, they absorbed him into their collective intelligence. He's part of their hive mind. However, he continues to file activity reports, and we believe he's still loyal to the Empire, even if he's barely human anymore. Are you telling me he's part Killick? How's that possible? Prolonged exposure to the Killicks induces physiological changes. He shares thoughts, feelings with them, but we don't know much more. We've requisitioned Vector from the diplomatic service and given him a need-to-know overview. You'll rendezvous at these coordinates. Use him to eliminate any noble or house funding the terrorists. Watch a two out. Uh, so we're using... using him how exactly? I guess we'll find out, won't we? Welcome back, Master. I've just completed a new meal plan for your culinary pleasure. You must be joking. Are your receptors all right? Can you notice I came from within the ship? I'm gonna have a memory wipe. Can you feel that? Can you smell it? Fresh air. I'm not sure I'm ever going to leave again. Let's go. Yes, this is the one, as the song schedule determined. We are Vector Hillis, Dawn Herald of the Ouroboro Nest. Pleased to make your acquaintance, Agent. Oh. I see a human. Cypher 9. I'm with Imperial Intelligence. Of course. We trust our appearance doesn't disturb you. Our superiors in the diplomatic service find our joining disconcerting, but it was necessary. The joining allowed us to share thoughts and senses with the Nest. Forge a bond between Empire and Killix. The change is a small price. Well, it doesn't... I don't mind. I, I don't mind at all, actually. Changed or not, you clean up well. You're very kind. We'd rub forearms, but it might not translate. Yes, as to your target... Imperial Intelligence provided us with a list of names, dates, and locations connected to your terrorist financier. Do you have an ID on the target? We can't identify the financier himself, but your information shows he's visited House Organa, House Ceres, House Pantier, and House Cortes. Cortes is a vassal of the Empire's proxy, House Thule. If you show the Cortes Baron a copy of our findings, he might close in on your foe. I appreciate the advice. We must proceed to the Dance of Unlighting, but we'll remain here for the duration of your mission. We suggest you present yourself to Cortes as an ally of the Empire, show strength, and don't mention your intelligence connections. So when he thinks of anything, they know... How's that working? I mean, can you even poop in peace? And what about... Never mind. Never mind. 
I'm just, I'm just wondering, okay? On that note, <laughs> I think it's time to take a break. We will end it here. And next time we will go to House Cortez to speak with the Baron. Until then, thanks for watching. Take care. Goodbye.